starting this vlog in my car. I'm actually at Balisa's place. She's walking towards me now. And I'm vlogging using my phone because I um, forgot my camera. It was a long night. I had a guest and I forgot everything. There she is. Uh huh. She got her face on and everything. She looks so good. Let me show you. Um, eh? Nah. Because I don't like. Because for Nyaka. Exactly, bruh. Because for Nyaka is sharp with Grandy. Hi, everyone. I'm climbing these steps. Take a gun. Balisa's apartment hunting. And, uh, because Ginali and I for these things. So, so shame. Guys, I'm hyperventilating. It's four floors up. It's wild. Alright. How is the name? I want to be in properties. The boy right here had a fit lamp. Let's have a look at the baby steps. Yeah, she's she's looking at her. Uh... <laughs> Happy birthday, best friend. I uh, love you. Okay, girl. Love you too. Okay, girl. Okay. All right. Let's put this back. Why was not telling them we're looking for them? Need to make again. Let's hand run tanya, nani? Ooh. What is this, honey? It's a dress. <gasps> I don't Girl. Know, I like it. With my blue sandals, are you kidding? <laughs> I love it. My boobs. Yeah. <laughs> that does much. Oh, and it's nice and long, I and I thought you'd like it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, girl. Love yeah. you. Hey guys, so I'm reunited. Reunited, and it feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm reunited with my girl and like what Jola guys so I hardly get to see her. I like spend weekends alone and like I go to lunches alone because <laughs> it's the nerve. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, I'm in the hospital. We go with the hacking sometimes the hacking really watch Hakiko no Malanak. Why? Why? I'm just a bee like that sometimes. So, what we're here to grab some lunch or whatever. Uh, and to just bond. I mean, it's been a minute since I sleep. I like some morning. So, I'm excited to chill or whatever. Guys, go to Hakiko and have you everywhere. You just want to go to a place and we enjoy a lunch or So now, the last time I was here, I was bubble. I was like, I was like, I was I was like, and do what besties do. Oh, what up? I can't believe you. I can't believe you forgot. Okay, we just had uh, brunch. What are you so who's I am? Okay? Because that's what happens when friends connect and reconnect and talk. You know, see a pose as pose to How do I look, guys? Do I look okay? It's Nikki Tom Jolo. Oh, are you done now? Yes. What are you saying? I'm saying we're at the Kata We just finished eating, so now we're gonna drink. Yeah, no, it's time, hey? It's time. To do it's time to do to facts. Yeah. Nothing but it. Yeah? So that's what we're gonna do now. Marhum not. I'm telling Palisa how soft I feel today. You are my sacred space. I think it's a song. Who's that? Indian Yuri. Okay, bye. Hey. Bye, guys. You're so sweet. <laughs> So 
the following day i left palisa's last night and yeah i'll talk to you a little bit later and let you know what the plans of today are but i've got a big ass pimple on my anyway so yeah i'm gonna be heading home in a couple of hours but i've got a couple of errands to run i'm uh, gonna be with the boy so let's check it out Hey everybody, welcome back to the Candid with Cat podcast, The Introvert Diaries. I'm so, so glad to have you over. What are you doing today? How are you doing today? I'm so, so glad to have this moment with you. But I'm confused Shouldn't you be keeping me a tell when you're two I can't help but feel sympathetic, I do You think you're bad, boy, but I feel bad for you Think you're bad, boy, think you're bad, boy Think you're bad, think you're bad, boy. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the channel Welcome back to another video I actually need to take this before it gets lukewarm uh, One of my favorite things to drink um, to just kind of boost me and boost my immune system is the sour fruit juice uh, cold press spicy turmeric shot love it um, so I really like to take this just as a, a good immune booster something that helps just keep me on top of things especially now uh, that I do not take my vitamins as much as I used to since Panasonic arrived and started but this always helps me out every couple of days i'll take a shot like maybe in a week i'll take it like three or four times and there's a round there's a round. it's not the nicest tasting thing but i've never really had a problem with anything with ginger or turmeric and i think you know that if you've been following this channel hello my ginger and turmeric teas were a thing so ah oh, i just remember that i forgot to buy green tea from woolies oh 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 Lord. Oh Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video, another vlog. This one is gonna hopefully be a longish kind of one because um, I owe you guys a vlog. By the time you see this, you know how it is. So lots to talk about, lots to discuss. Uh, I did not vlog last week because I just had so much to do. And one of them is this. Um, I, <laughs> there's a lot to say, there's a lot to share. I'm tired. I just got back from work. Um, this is a shirt I normally wear when I go to work, but I wear it with like pants underneath. And then when I get home, because it's just like, 
it's just like guya shisa i normally just take the pants off anyway um so i just got back from work it is monday uh i'm sure i will have inserted the footage from this weekend uh lots lots to talk about i recently changed my nails because i know you guys love to see the nail action recently changed my nails and i really 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 uh love this um design it's really cool i call it faces uh if you really want to see it up close you can check on my instagram page i hope you guys are following me on instagram and if you haven't please start following me on there it'll help me quite a bit uh, so last week that's one of the things that i did i went and i got my nails done um i had a lot of editing work to do for my podcast which i'll talk about just now i had a lot of editing work to do and i also had a lot of editing work to do for the channel uh on top of that i still go to work every single day so you need to understand whew, i was every time i would come back from work i was literally sitting here and editing or doing or recording a video or doing something so i really didn't have time to squeeze in a vlog as well at the same time so i was just like you know what it's fine let me skip the vlog for this week and let me edit what it is that i need to edit and do what it is that i need to do uh, for work and for all these other platforms that i am very much active on so there wasn't a vlog for the first time in a really long time there wasn't a vlog but here we are we're filming another vlog today i don't know how much you will actually even see but there's a, quite a few things that i do want to discuss with you guys first things first the podcast I... <laughs> um so if you do not read my community tab or check out any messages that i've got on the community tab then you wouldn't know this or if you don't follow me on instagram then you wouldn't know this i currently have a podcast <laughs> no yes i currently have a podcast and the name of the podcast is candid with cat the introvert diaries podcast and i have been loving it it, it has made me a lot busier than i normally am because i have to typically a lot of the time record the podcast episodes when i get back from work so i'm often tired and on top of that i have to record so it really is a lot of work but i'm i'm trying child okay i am trying and i am pushing it currently right now it is the podcast i mean is you can stream and find it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podca Podcasts. Um, I feel like I'm talking too fast. But currently, right now, the podcast has, if I'm not mistaken, four episodes. Or oh, the fourth one is going up today, I think, uh, this weekend. Uh, higher and higher, ain't nothing. Yes, it's got three episodes currently. So this is the candid with cat podcast so currently it's got three episodes and you can find it on apple Podcasts, like i said spotify or google Podcasts. and i upload an episode every bi-weekly friday so every second friday but i noticed that um there's quite a lot of time that goes past between each podcast so um each podcast episode so what i decided to do was on the friday where i'm not scheduled to drop a podcast episode i will uh, release something short and sweet and that segment of the podcast is called the tidbit corner where we talk about things like you know what's trending that week or we talk about little golden nuggets that we can throw in there to make our lives better for ourselves and for each other and uh, i just throw things out there so right now it's got three episodes and the last one is the tidbit corner episode where uh, you, I talk about finding your happy in the small things and uh, so far it's going really good uh, the first day it was launched first and second day it was in the top five of the Apple podcast it was like number four for quite a number of days 
and I was so, so excited. But right now it's, it's like gone all the way down, which is not really a problem for me. Um, you know, just take things as they go. And there are a lot of people who are enjoying the podcast and I'm so, so happy because uh, if there's one thing that I used to get quite a lot is, you know, you'd be great on radio or doing a podcast and here we are. And I've been talking about it for so long from last year. I had issues with sound and I had issues with the audio sound card that I would use and then it wasn't compatible with my laptop and then it wasn't compatible with my stuff and then I was just like, ah. So I ended up purchasing the Rode mic, which I unboxed in one of my vlogs late last year sometime. And finally we are here. So the podcast is live. De definite, definitely would really, really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. It's one of my favorite things and I'm so very, very proud of it as much as I'm proud of producing content on all my social media platforms. But right now, that is the baby I am most proud of a lot. So I really would appreciate it if you guys could download, download the episodes, follow that podcast, um, also rate it as well. It's really, really important for me and to get the podcast out there even more. So, so, so excited about that. So that is one thing that happened. And then over the weekend, which I'm pretty sure you will be able to see uh, in the previous footage to this one, over the weekend, I went out and I met up with Balisa. On Friday, I was with my partner and Saturday, I met up with Balisa and we just caught up, you know, for the first time in a really long time. She did show up at my place earlier on this year, but she was passing through. She was in the area, but this time around, we actually met and uh, we went out to Big Bad Wolf together at Cedar Square in Four Ways. And we had a really, really good time. Uh, ended up staying over at Balisa's till late, till around eight i think and then after that i went over to my partner's place for the rest of the weekend and that was that was a good time that was a good time um in the period of last week uh what else did i do that i wanted to share with you guys i finished this book i finished a woman is no man and a wow when i tell you that this is something you should pick up I really, really highly, highly recommend this book. This is A Woman Is No Man by Itaf Ram, and I've spoken about it in two of my previous vlogs, or also maybe even mentioned it on Instagram as well, and also quoted it a little bit on my Twitter pages as well. So really, if you want more access to me, Instagram is the way to go because I always put up a snap or two or three or a picture, or I'm more active on there on a daily basis, as opposed to waiting for a video every couple of days. Um, so a woman is no man follows the life of two uh, women, a mother and her daughter. And it follows uh, the life of Isa, Isra, Isra in 1990. And then it follows her, the life of her daughter in uh, 2008. So Isra is a woman who is born into the Arab uh, Muslim community. And, you know, she grows up um, in Palestine and not really being exposed to anything else in the outside world except her way of life and the way of life of her people. And so, as expected, she is involved in an arranged marriage where her parents set her up to meet this man and she is then wed to uh, Adam. I think it's Adam. Yes. Her new husband is Adam, and from there, in 1990, they move with Adam, and they move to New York City. And then, of course, it fast-forwards to 2008, uh, where Dea is now 17, I think, around that age group, and she is now uh, the one in line to get married, and her grandmother is the one who is arranging her um, wedding. But here, yeah, the thing is, the difference is, is 2008, and Dea is, you know, was born in the U.S. and times are different and things are different. And Dea wants, you know, an education for herself. And she wants, she believes and feels that there is more to life than being, that's my partner, so rude. Um, there is more to life than being somebody's wife. The social commentary with this, not only is this a very difficult book to read, but the social commentary surrounding this is phenomenal. It highlights and exposes 
um, things that we may have heard about in our societies or over the world in terms of the Arab uh, culture or in the Muslim culture, how women are treated uh, by their uh, husbands and by their families and the families of their husbands. Now, not all marriages, of course, I'm not going to make that stereotype, but it is a con conversation that has been had for quite a number of years. And, you know, this involves things like um, uh, abuse in, mar in the marriages, uh, physical abuse, emotional abuse, uh, verbal abuse as well, but also how the mother-in-laws treat the newly wed wives because they are younger and how they impart this knowledge or this stereotype onto the newly wed wives that uh, a woman is nothing without a man. A woman is not a man. So don't ever expect to get educated and start a life and, you know, live your best life independently and whatever. Your only concern as a newly wed wife is to please your husband and make sure that your husband is taken care of and make sure that uh, you give him children. And when you do not give him boys and instead you give him girls, that's another problem. And um, <laughs> it was really, really difficult to read. But do I feel like it is an important not read? Absolutely. Is it slow going in between the two different time spans? Yes. But when the book does pick up, wow, wow, the social commentary behind it is incredible. It's incredible. Um, yeah, so one of the lines that I underlined uh, is you're too young to understand this now, Mama said, but you must always remember. She lifted Israel's chin, Israel's the mother. There's nothing out there for a woman but her biat vardar, her house and her home. Marriage, motherhood, that is a woman's only worth. And I was just like, so you can imagine, there were a lot of unlikable characters for me here. The grandmother is one of them. I could not stand her. And of course, uh, Farida and Adam, the husband, I couldn't stand for also various reasons as well. But aside from that, it is very well written. And uh, I'm so excited that I read this book. And I'm so glad that I read this book because I do like to read books that have great social commentary and books that will make you think and books that will um, expose you to another culture or another religion and the way of life and the difficulties surrounding um, being born into that culture or religion, especially as a female. So really, really important. I know I'm going off at a tangent, but I read this and I loved it. And then my sixth book for the year, which is currently what I'm reading, and I started reading it on Friday and I cannot for the life of me put it down. It is everything they say it is, okay? Oh my God, this is Evelyn Hugo, okay? This book, this book is truly everything they say it is. Now, I'm not new to Taylor Jenkins' read. I read Malibu Rising earlier on this year, um, or was it in the last days of last year? But I included it into this year's uh, reading list. This book is so well written. It is beautiful. It follows, as it says, the life of Evelyn Hugo and her seven husbands, the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So um, Evelyn Hugo is a woman who is, you know, she was born into old Hollywood. She's gone her struggles. She's gone through her struggles. She has been married seven times, as it says. And the book follows Evelyn requesting uh, a certain writer from a certain uh, publication, Vivant magazine, Monique, she requests Monique to write her life story where she's going to talk about all of it. Now, she's been somebody who's been quite private about her personal life until now. So she's in her 70s and she wants to tell her side of the story. Now, some would say that Evelyn is an unlikable character, but I love her. I feel like she is powerful she's ferocious she's invincible she does what she needs to do to get to where she needs to be even if sometimes it means breaking a lot of hearts to get there but not only that she's also had to do really diff difficult things to get to where she was or else she wouldn't have been noticed and she's also had to break hearts along the way and uh, she also had a tough time growing up and 
in this stage where she was meeting all these men and all of that phenomenal i am currently am currently 253 pages in i started it on friday i couldn't read it uh, on saturday i continued reading it yesterday and i got to 252 pages am i gonna read it tonight you're absolutely right i am so so excited get this i'm already so excited i just want to know why she wants to now do a tell all book and why she wants monique in particular to read it and what else are we gonna discover here this is really 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 lovely mm. that's pretty much it in terms of everything that i did want to share um i am gonna why why are you texting me all right um so that's pretty much all i wanted to share another big thing that i did want to share that i want to get started on today now before i start cooking is decluttering my wardrobe so i'm going to have a series on my channel maybe i'll do that one to start decluttering tomorrow um because i've got a couple of things that i need to do now on my laptop uh so maybe i'll start decluttering tomorrow but i've got a series on my channel that i want to start happening called like it's just like decluttering and 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 working my way away from being a little bit of a hoarder <laughs> people say i am i don't believe i am but that's neither here nor there so the first thing that i want to start with is clothes now i've got a lot of clothes and i've got a lot of clothes that i do not wear and um i am thinking that we're going to start out in my bedroom and work our way through each and every one of those cupboards and take out what i do not wear anymore some of these are still great clothes in great condition some have been worn once or twice some have been worn you know pre-loved but still are in impeccable condition because that's just who i am okay and what i have decided is i am going to open a yaga store online and i am going to sell some of my pre-loved possessions um but also if you are here and you're watching this part of the video and you like something that you see whether in this part of the vlog or in another vlog if you like something that you see if you can if it's a first come so it's going to be like a first come first serve kind of thing and if you can definitely hit me up on instagram and tell me that i liked this thing take a screenshot and i like these pants or i like this dress or whatever can you sell it to me and then i'll let you know how much i'm gonna sell it for some things i will give away um one of the hardest things for me to give away are my books and my clothes but some i will give away to charity some i will you know give i won't say which ones but some i'll give away and if somebody says look i like that shirt and if that was the plan for me to give that particular item away then i'll give it away to that person uh but i've decided that change is gone come so i need to just definitely get rid of some of my clothes because i just i I can't I've got a I've got a lot going on in my bedroom and uh, it's time for a change so that's what I'm gonna do Okay, some of these I haven't worn in years. This dress is an 18. I can tell you right now that this dress is going to be big on me. It was big when I got it, but I did it deliberately. And I only wore it once on holiday. And it's from Poetry. Such a pretty dress. Oh, Lord. And it's got to go. It's got to go, baby. Okay. Let's see. I don't wear that much. This is a superfluous dress. I've worn it before multiple times, but I feel like it is big on me now. And I'm just like, why? But I'll show you everything. I'll show you guys everything. My God. It's just 14. Now I've got this dress, which I normally wear for winter in two different sizes. I've got it in black and I've got it 
in black <laughs> as a 14 and a 12 and the 12 is the one that looks the best on me so the 14 is gonna go my gosh going to be hard for me okay i'm trying to make my wardrobe more monochrome i'm quite okay with wearing black gray and white i'm very okay with wearing those colors every single day if the white has a little bit of color sure but for the most part those are the colors that i want to wear and um that's that on that okay um so this is really really hard for me but it's fine i just need to learn i'm doing this because i need to learn how to let go but at the same time i can't give everything away some of these dresses cost me an arm and a leg and um some will go away to charity and some won't if i feel like the dress is still in good condition then i'm going to sell it on jaeger so definitely make sure you follow me on there uh but if some of them are in bad condition then i'll give <laughs> this is so hard um this i think i might give away I, I i wore this a couple of times this is from bags not give away this i might sell this i got um on an instagram boutique bags and bougie and i got this one and i was like oh it's so lovely but i really don't wear it as much as i should be wearing it and we're already going into winter so chances are very not high that i would wear it again so this one might go as well and y'all can't give away everything uh the leopard print skirt is lovely these ones i still wear i'm sure you've seen me that they see me in these uh a few times and this leopard print one so that's fine you see here's the thing right so some of these things are staples there's no way that i can let go of them because that leopard print skirt is going to look good with like a zara uh uh what's this bodysuit or a longer one in the winter time and some black um pumps or heels or chelsea boots or whatever so some of them really are staples and uh, uh, giving selling them or giving them away just means that i have to start afresh with my wardrobe and then it's just like i don't know if that makes any monetary sense to me facts facts um do 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 got this really really pretty pencil skirt from studio w yeah and it's a 16 and it's got like a like a rib detail like it's like can you see that can you see that and it's so warm for the winter time but what is so cute about it it's got a zip all the way literally you can open up the zip on the back like this to show some thigh action it zips all the way up i love the skirt um then I've got a pleated Zara skirt, this one, absolutely love it. And then the Zara pants in the green pants that I have. If you follow me on Instagram, I've worn them a couple of times, love them as well. Pop of color, love that. Ah, so there's not much in here. I feel like the worst is on there. So there's another poetry dress, so pretty. These dresses are so nice and the material is so nice. If you're somebody who likes just more laid back chill back vibes you'll appreciate that that's a 16 as well i'm actually throwing them on the carpet okay okay don't be mad at me and then this is something that you can wear um i love this color this is from poetry and it's a large size and it's a dress you can wear like at the beach let me show you it's got like a little bit of a an extra piece here on top that's connected to the dress it's really really pretty and it's flirty and we love it but i don't wear it so doom 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 so thinking twice but this is one of the this is the poetry dress so cute because it's got that little come on let's twist again that would be last summer i love summertime heat fine summertime fine uh but for me I've got something very similar from poetry, two of them, and I feel like this one can go, so it's gonna go. But I really wanna try out the Pringle one as well so you guys can see how that goes. Hey, so this is one of the dresses from poetry. As you can see, 
It really is just a simple dress that you can wear at home if you're somebody who likes to wear uh, very chilled and laid back designs. Really, really love the almost like paisley print that's here. If you're interested in it, let me know. To say I have an unhealthy obsession with denim is it's just it's not a lie, okay? And these ones are going to go as well. But denim is a little bit tricky to let go of because um some of them are still in great condition like this one isn't mint condition there isn't any uh frizzing between the thighs and all of that um some of them are just i'm gonna give them away like this one it's just old and i kept holding on to it and i was just like no that one i'm gonna give away but this one is in a really good condition and i'm just like i don't even know like i still have 10 denim sitting in my wardrobe um these I don't know if I'll ever give these away because they remind me of the top shop days. Do you remember this? Do you remember? Do you? Um, and they're still, they're, they're just slightly faded, but they still look pretty good. And I feel like if I wear them, they look all right. And these are high rise jeans. So they're really, really good as well. So I think I might keep those just net for the culture and the, non -sh the nostalgia of top shop in this country. But those ones, one, one, two, three, four. This is going to be uh, given away. Five. Those ones are going to go. So uh, pretty much done for now. I think for me, it's a really important exercise for me to let things go because it's not only, you know, just physically letting certain things go, but it's also channeling my mind psychologically and emotionally to let things go for me it's really hard to let friendships go it's hard to let relationships go it's hard to let anything go really for that matter and i feel like doing this exercise is going to warm me up to just generically letting everything go like if i don't if it doesn't serve me anymore let it go if it's not something that does anything for you let it go and i'm so sick of also just being told by my friends or my family members that you know what that has a really big struggle of letting things go i know my sister says it a lot and i it's true <laughs> she's not lying it's actually really true and i feel like starting this decluttering exercise and teaching myself to let things go is just really truly so important for me psychologically as well i feel like it'll do so much um for me to let things go like that you know um so i'm gonna do that i think this vlog is gonna end here i was gonna cook and do a whole buddha bowl and everything but in truth i don't feel like doing the buddha bowl anymore i feel like i'm just gonna put the pork chops in the oven and do a side salad with it but there will be leftovers so that'll be great to do a buddha bowl and start recording a vlog maybe two days from now that'll go up this one will go up this week as you're watching it and then the other one will go up next week but i feel like this one is long enough there's a lot of chatting that happens in it and a lot of other footage that's on my phone so i think it'll be enough um and then the next vlog will start off with me preparing something to eat uh but for now i think that's 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 it man uh it's it's hard i feel really tired after this little exercise and to be honest i was only doing it for relatively half an hour or 45 minutes or so and i already feel tired i feel exhausted mentally i feel like it's drained me quite a bit and i think it's because for me it's it's more than just letting clothes go or more than just letting shoes go or whatever. There's a lot more attached to, to this um, than just that, you know? Um, yeah, so there's there's probably bags as well that I might also let go, some Zara bags. Um, but we'll see how it goes. My taste is very demure. It's very chilled, laid back. That's why in my wardrobe, you'll never find, oh, the latest, trendiest pieces or blah, blah, blah. The, nah. And I think the next vlog will also start with me showing you some of the things that I got from China Mall a couple of weeks ago. 
um, I didn't show them. I think I may have spoken about them, but I didn't show them. So I will show that. But yeah, so if you're somebody who's seen anything that you like in there, let me know. Drop me a DM and then we can talk about it. Um, if not, that's fine too. You know, for me, there's it's a bigger exercise for me than truly making a quick buck because that's not really the point for me. It really isn't. Um, but at the same time, I spent a lot of money on dresses from Pringle and poetry and all of that, that um, it would be a great way to just start saving money, which is a big, big point of contention for me this year, is to start saving more. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm excited about it, but I'm also kind of stressed out about it. Uh, hence why I just feel tired and I feel like I just need to just put meat in the oven and unwind and relax for the rest of the evening and read Evelyn Hugo. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know what you think of the decluttering series. If you want to see more of these things where I'll be letting go of shoes and all these other things, home decor pieces and all of that, let me know if you're keen on that. And, um, yeah, I'm going to go. I hope you guys are well. Enjoy the rest of your week whenever it is that you do see this. Also, make sure to check out the podcast, which would be great. Make sure to also get this video to over a 1,000 likes. That helps me out quite a lot. Like the video. Please subscribe to the channel. We're working really hard to get to 30K subscribers. Um, and I'm hoping that we could get there before my birthday month, which is June. I know it's, 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 it's a lot. Um, given that we're on 26,200, but I think it's doable. I really need you guys to uh, come through for me and help me, especially with my social media platforms like YouTube and more especially Instagram as well. So I'm going to go. Um, yeah, think about this letting go process. Are you somebody who struggles with that as well? And if you do, let me know. Let's talk about it. Uh, until then, I'll see you in the next one. I'm having a drink. I really am. <laughs> That's how I feel about what I've just done. <laughs> until then, I'm going to go. I'll see you in the next one.